I'm Ollie Gardner from Unbounce, and in this video series, I'll show you how to use fundamental design principles to increase the conversions of your landing pages. Whether you're a marketer, designer, copywriter, just a business person, it doesn't matter, because when you understand how design works, you can get more clicks, more leads, more conversions, and more sales from the traffic you're sending to your landing pages. And I'll show you exactly how to do it. The design principle of direction. Now, there are two main ways you can use this to focus people's attention on what you want them to do on your landing page. There is the gaze of your eyes or your, your face or gesture, or there are graphical directional cues like an arrow. You can see here that the direction of gaze implies that this person is looking over there and makes you do the same thing. Take a look at this higher education landing page. You'll notice the direct eye gaze of the person in the photo. So you look directly at them. Also notice that the headline of the page is kind of stuck up at the top of the page out of your direct line of sight. My immediate thought on this page was that the direct gaze was a distraction from allowing me to kind of look around the rest of the page. Now, Andy Schottmuller has a great example of this where if you're doing an ad, a display banner ad, let's say on Facebook, direct eye contact can be a good thing. We're trained as humans that when people look at us, we want to look back, but why are you looking at me? This can be great on a busy page like on Facebook because that direct eye gaze can make you look at it. When you arrive on a landing page, you don't necessarily want that direct eye contact. Instead, you want to try and direct someone's gaze at something important, such as the headline, so that they can read it quickly. Now, because I was a little concerned about how this landing page was structured, I ran a five second test to see if I could figure out if there was a problem. A five second test is an experiment where you show people a screenshot of your landing page for five seconds, then you hide it and you ask them a question or a series of questions to see how much information they can recall. It's a great way of uncovering clarity problems. There are several ways you can run a five second test. Online, you can use a tool such as Usability Hub, or you can just use your laptop screen, close after five seconds, or a piece of paper. In this series of experiments, I asked the same two questions. What course is it? Communications management. And what level is the course? It's a master's degree. I wanted to see how many people could give me the correct answer after seeing the page for only five seconds. In the first experiment with the direct eye contact, only 8% knew what the course was about and 22% knew that it was a master's degree. That's pretty terrible, right? If this was your page, your course that you're trying to advertise and people could only figure out that much information when they see it in five seconds, that's not good. So I replaced the photo with someone looking at the headline to see if this directional gaze would draw people's attention to that and help them comprehend what the page was about more quickly. You'll see in the results that twice as many people knew what the course was and also more people knew that it was a master's degree. We're making progress using the design principle of direction. To take it a step further, I added a ridiculous green arrow pointing directly at the headline. I ran the experiment again. Number of people understanding what the course was doubled yet again. And the master's degree recollection also went up. That's the power of directional cues and the design principle of direction. Now we'll jump inside the Unbounce landing page builder and I'll show you a really cool technique for focusing people's attention on your call to action using the principle of direction. All right, we're back inside the Unbounce landing page builder with the landing page we're using as an example throughout this video series. Now I want to apply the design principle of direction to help focus attention on something important on the page. In this case, we're going to use the call to action in the top right corner. I want more customers. So to draw more attention to that, choose an arrow icon from my library, fix the size, and, and I'm going to position it right there pointing up at the call to action. Now, this header has been set up to be a sticky header so that when you scroll, it's always there so the call to action is always present. I'm going to enter the preview mode so you can see how it works and how this directional cue is adding that focus. So now you can see as we scroll, this remains in view, always drawing attention to that call to action. That's how you can use the principle of direction to focus people's attention. 
That's another landing page design principle you have in your toolkit. So please try them out on your landing pages. You'll improve the clarity, you'll improve the impact of the design and ultimately increase conversions. I recommend you check out unbounce.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Ollie Gardner. Click that link up there. It will take you to a preview of the Unbounce landing page builder. You can play around with it, see how easy it is to use, apply some of the design principles I've been teaching you, and you'll have higher converting landing pages in no time. You can check out more landing page design videos down below. If you're watching on YouTube, go to the landingpagecourse.com where I'll teach you a whole bunch more about high impact, high converting landing pages.